The construction of Bucharest Metro Line M5, led by Salsef, involved the creation of about 15 kilometers of slab track using the embedded block system, EBS, which incorporates concrete blocks to provide stability and reduce noise and vibration. Positioning concrete blocks involves carefully placing them along the track bed to provide a stable foundation for the rail system. Fixing the fastening system is a crucial step where specialized components are attached to secure the rails to the concrete blocks. This system, typically consisting of clips, bolts, and plates, ensures that the rails are tightly held in place, preventing lateral or vertical movement during train operations. It also helps distribute the load from the trains, reducing stress on individual blocks, and enhancing the track's durability and performance over time. Track positioning jigs ensure precise rail alignment during construction. Preliminary alignment is a critical phase where the track's position is carefully adjusted and inspected to ensure it meets the design specifications before the final concrete casting. During this stage, engineers and surveyors use precise measuring instruments to check the horizontal and vertical alignment of the rails. The spacing between the rails, gauge, is verified, as well as the gradient and curvature of the track to ensure smooth and safe metric operations. Any minor deviations detected are corrected at this point, preventing costly adjustments later in the process. This alignment ensures that the track is positioned accurately within tolerances, minimizing future wear and tear on the infrastructure and ensuring passenger comfort. The preliminary alignment serves as a foundation for the final alignment checks before the track is permanently fixed in place. The pre-casting survey final check is a detailed inspection ensuring all components, rails, concrete blocks. Concrete casting involves pouring concrete around the position blocks and fastening systems, permanently securing them in place. This process encases the track structure, providing stability and ensuring long-term durability. Jig removal involves carefully detaching the positioning jigs once the concrete has cured, freeing the track for further installations and operations. The third rail installation is a crucial component of the metro system, providing electrical power to the trains along the entire 15 kilometers of track on embedded blocks. During this phase, rail segments are securely mounted alongside the main track, ensuring proper alignment and connectivity to the power supply. The installation includes protective coverings and safety measures to prevent accidental contact. This system enhances operational efficiency, enabling reliable and continuous train service throughout the metro line. The loading and handling of prime rails is a critical step involving specialized machinery to transport and position rails safely. This process ensures that rails are loaded onto flatbeds without damage, maintaining their structural integrity during transportation to the construction site. Flash butt welding fuses rail ends using high electrical currents, creating continuous, seamless rail sections for enhanced durability. The first layer of ballast, composed of crushed stone, is spread along the railway bed to provide a stable foundation for the track. This layer ensures proper drainage, distributes the load from passing trains, and supports the sleepers and rails, preventing movement or shifting under the stress of heavy freight traffic. Rail unloading involves the careful use of cranes and specialized equipment to lift and place rails from transport vehicles onto the prepared track bed. Precision during this process ensures efficient installation and minimizes damage. The MCB01 track laying train, patented by SALCEF, 
automates the placement of rails and sleepers, significantly accelerating track construction. Equipped with a global positioning system, GPS, it ensures precise alignment by providing real-time location data, enabling accurate positioning of track components for optimal stability and smooth rail operations. The sleeper and rail laying process is crucial for establishing the railway's structural foundation. Sleepers, typically made of concrete or wood, are placed at precise intervals along the prepared track bed to support and anchor the rails. Proper spacing ensures the track's gauge and alignment remain consistent. Rails are then positioned on top of the sleepers and fastened securely using clips or fastenings. Special machinery is often used to handle and place the sleepers and rails with high precision, ensuring uniformity. The accurate placement of sleepers and rails is vital for ensuring the safety, durability, and smooth operation of the railway. Fixing fastenings involves securing the rails to the sleepers using specialized clips or bolts. This process ensures the rails remain in place, maintaining proper alignment and gauge, while also accommodating track expansion and contraction caused by temperature variations and train movement. Releasing fastenings temporarily loosens rail fastenings to allow for adjustments, relieving stress and ensuring precise track alignment and stability. Flash butt welding is a process that joins rail sections by applying high electrical currents to the rail ends. The intense heat melts the metal, and controlled pressure fuses the rails together, creating a seamless, strong joint without requiring additional filler materials. Weld grinding is the process of smoothing and finishing welded joints on rail sections to ensure a seamless transition and eliminate any irregularities. This step involves using specialized grinding machines to carefully remove excess material from the welds, achieving the desired profile and dimensions. A topographic survey involves mapping the land's surface features, including elevations, contours, and natural obstacles. The second layer of ballast is placed over the first layer to enhance track stability and drainage. This layer helps secure the sleepers, supports heavy loads, and ensures proper track alignment over time. Ballast profiling involves shaping and leveling ballast to ensure proper drainage and support for the track, enhancing stability and performance. Track leveling, alignment, and tamping are critical processes to ensure the railway track is properly positioned and stable. This involves adjusting the track's elevation and alignment using specialized machinery, followed by tamping, which compacts the ballast around the sleepers, ensuring a secure foundation that accommodates the weight of trains and maintains safety. Track dynamic stabilization enhances track resilience against vibrations and shifts. Tracks endure stress comparable to 50,000 tons of freight. Ballast profiling and track brushing ensure optimal ballast shape and cleanliness, enhancing drainage, stability, and preventing vegetation growth around the track. Vacuum cleaning for sand removal utilizes specialized equipment to efficiently extract sand and debris from the track and ballast. This process prevents accumulation, ensuring proper drainage and maintaining the structural integrity of the railway. Releasing fastenings allows for necessary adjustments in the track alignment, ensuring optimal gauge and relieving any residual stress on the rails. Cutting rails involves precisely trimming rail sections to the required lengths using specialized cutting equipment. This ensures accurate fit during installation and maintains proper alignment and gauge throughout the railway system. 
Laying and installing rail pullers involves positioning these mechanical devices along the track to maintain alignment and tension. Rail pullers facilitate the adjustment of rail positions during installation, ensuring proper gauge and preventing misalignment, which enhances the overall stability and performance of the railway. Aluminothermic welding is a method that uses a chemical reaction between aluminum powder and metal oxides to create molten steel. This process joins rail ends seamlessly, providing a strong, durable bond that withstands heavy loads and environmental stresses, essential for railway longevity. The assembly of axles, bogies, and gearboxes for track maintenance machines requires exceptional precision and expertise. These machines must perform highly demanding tasks, and the components they rely on must be both durable and finely tuned. At Plant 6, a team of 35 employees manufactures custom-made running and driving gears tailored to the needs of various machines. This includes in-house production of bogie frames, which vary significantly in size and design depending on the specific requirements, such as axle load capacity and speed. One of the primary components of a bogey is the wheel axle, sourced from leading suppliers. However, the assembly of these axles is done in-house at Placer and Thurer. Before assembly, the dimensions of the wheel axles are thoroughly inspected. The assembly process begins with the mounting of transmission gear wheels onto the axles, a critical task that requires professional heating to ensure the wheels remain securely fixed throughout their lifespan. The wheel set press, custom made for Placer and Thurer, is used for pressing wheel sets for track gauges ranging from 760 to 1,600 millimeters. During this process, precise data is recorded for future reference, and laser measuring systems are used to monitor the radial and axial runout of the wheel sets. In addition to wheel sets, the plant also manufactures transmissions, which are vital to the operation of the bogey. Hydrodynamic and hydrostatic transmissions are specifically designed for the demanding tasks of track maintenance machines. The preparation of transmission cast housings is a delicate process, as even small Small metal fragments could cause damage. Therefore, the assembly of transmissions requires the highest level of precision and expertise. Finally, once all components are assembled, the completed bogies are sent to the paint shop before being delivered to final assembly locations. The automation of wheel set maintenance in railway operations has been significantly enhanced with the introduction of automated production wheel press machines like the Simmons SMP200, as demonstrated in a 2014 video. This system operates in heavy haul railway wheel set maintenance facilities, streamlining the process of wheel set assembly with a combination of pre-mount and mount press functionalities. The machine cell features a 200-ton pre-mount and mount press press, designed to handle wheel sets after various maintenance tasks like measurement, reprofiling, boring, and axle reclaiming. It integrates several automated material handling components, enabling a seamless transition between maintenance steps and the final wheel mounting process. The automation begins with a wheel bore and axle lubrication station, where wheels are loaded into wheel carts for transport to the lubrication station. Axles, on the other hand, are either loaded directly into the axle lubrication station or temporarily stored in an optional axle rack. Once lubricated, the axles and wheels are brought together in a pre-mount system. This system uses 19 tons of force to pre-assemble the wheel set, pressing the wheels onto the axle. This pre-mounting stage is fully automated, which not only accelerates the process but also eliminates the need for manual pre-assembly, saving valuable production time. Following the pre-mount operation, the wheel set is transferred by a cart and an intermediate elevator to the final mounting press. 
the mounting press, a Simmons SMP 200-200 ton production press, performs the final assembly with precision. Equipped with advanced tooling and an automatic gauging system, the press ensures that the wheels are correctly positioned along the axle's center line and aligned to the proper track gauge. This guarantees a high level of consistency, reducing the likelihood of operator errors. The press also features a wheel press recorder, which captures a pressure diagram of tonnage over distance. It records vital data, such as the serial numbers of wheels and axles, mount numbers, and potential misfits. This data is stored and can be transferred to a central computer system for further analysis or quality assurance. LH Group's investment in cutting-edge technology has resulted in the UK's most advanced wheelset and bogey overhaul and remanufacturing facility. The wheelsets unit, located at their Staffordshire hub, is equipped with high-tech tooling and monitoring systems, allowing the skilled team of engineers to handle a wide range of wheelsets, bogies, and final drives. The unit specializes in overhauling locomotive, freight, passenger, and infrastructure power and trailer wheel sets. They provide comprehensive services such as rehealing, reprofiling, non-destructive testing NDT, and bearing inspections. For these processes, they use advanced equipment like a 400-ton wheel press, wheel shrink fitting systems, computerized wheel reprofiling tools, and dynamic wheel balancing systems. Additional services include ultrasonic axle testing, UAT, magnetic particle inspection, MPI, and in-depth bearing inspections using specialized ovens and borers. Final drive and bogey overhauls are also carried out at the facility, which offers removal and refitting services directly from vehicles. The team's expertise in working with complex final drives, combined with strict adherence to industry safety standards, ensures that every project is completed with the highest quality and precision. LH Group's facility, accredited by the Railway Industry Supplier Approval Scheme, offers unparalleled service to the locomotive industry. With the capacity to handle both small and large volumes, they serve as a one-stop solution for wheel set, bogey, and final drive requirements, maintaining a reputation for excellence and reliability. Alumino Thermit Welding, commonly known as thermite welding, is a highly efficient fusion welding process primarily used for joining metals, particularly in railway and heavy industry applications. The process employs a chemical reaction between aluminum powder and a metal oxide, often iron oxide, to produce molten metal, which serves the thermite reaction begins with a mixture of aluminum powder and iron oxide, known as thermite. When ignited, the aluminum acts as a reducing agent, reacting with the iron oxide to produce molten iron and aluminum oxide. The reaction can be represented by the equation. The molten iron produced reaches temperatures exceeding 2,500 degrees Celsius, 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit, making it suitable for welding applications. The entire process is exothermic, providing enough heat to melt the base metals at the joint. Thermite welding requires specialized equipment, including a crucible to contain the molten metal and molds to shape the weld. The thermite mixture is placed in a refractory-lined container, often situated above the joint to be welded. An ignition source, a magnesium ribbon or fuse, is used to initiate the reaction. One of the primary applications of alumino thermite welding is in rail track construction and repair, where it is used to weld rail ends together, ensuring a continuous track with minimal electrical resistance. This method is favored for its ability to produce strong, durable joints that can withstand the high stresses and strains experienced in rail operations. The key advantages of thermit welding include its high temperature operation, which allows for deep penetration and strong welds, and its portability, as it does not require external power sources.